I like Farm Bureau because it provides me with a lot of information, you know, mainly, you know, tied with agriculture. Uh, just, you know, getting that newsletter and, and, you know, seeing the program on TV, you know, for me, that's, that's crucial to know what's going on in the state. And I feel that anytime I would need help, I can call OFBF and they are there to, to help me. It has a voice. It's probably the strongest voice that the farmer has uh, with the legislative people. I'm a very social person, so, you know, if, if we can meet with other people and, and see how they're working and what their concerns are, we all have the same concerns, and we've got one voice to tell everybody what our concerns are. I'm a member of Farm Bureau. The simple answer to that is because somebody asked me. Because someone asked. Sometimes that's all it takes. Farm Bureau is a grassroots, member-driven organization, and as active members, we understand the numerous benefits of this organization. We also understand that recruiting members is not always easy to get a grip on. So we sat down and talked with members, just like you, who have been especially successful in recruiting members in the past. Let's see what they have to say. Some of the sales techniques that I've used to get new members the first one I think probably is to, as you go down the road, see who has some animals out there in the yard, the backyard, whatever. I've found that over the years that many of these are the, probably your best opportunities to get new members. I've thought about uh, who can help agriculture in what way and we go from there. Uh, if it's a veterinary or, or uh, farm market, anybody that grows vegetables of any kind. I contacted the, uh, the owner of my local equipment dealer and uh, I sat down across the desk from him and, and I asked him the question. I said, uh, Mike, I said, what do you do to draw the connection between what we're doing on the farm and the products and the services that your dealership is providing to, uh, to the ag community? kind of looked me right straight on and said, I don't know. I said, well, let Farm Bureau help you with that. We, as a uh, membership committee, tried to identify potential members out there through the environmental work group, through the county alders tax list, through networking with people in our community who uh, moved into the community and might know people. I also tell them if, if you eat, you have something to do with farmers. The first step is to identify potential members. Good prospects are often people with a particular strong connection to agriculture. Like Carrie said, we all have a connection to agriculture in one way or the other. I made a list of potential people, but what do I say to them? I was talking to this fellow yesterday, and he says, you know, I went to join Farm Beer because I uh, nationwide gave me a big cut in insurance because I'm a Farm Beer member. If they are people that do a lot of traveling, then they're interested in hotels. If they're doing a, if they like uh, uh, theme parks, well then we got that discount. If they're short on hospitalization, the new deal on hospitalization this year by having Medical Mutual will help uh, discount on insurance for automobiles and cars. So you offer them all these things and somewhere along the line you'll hit the button. And they said, oh yeah, I even had one said, oh, pet insurance, sure. Okay, I'll sign for that. I found a particularly interest in the 1500 reward program because we're such a rural county that we just do not have a, a major active uh, small sheriff's departments and I find it a, a great salesperson to be able to say for the uh, $1,500 to, you know, for a neighborhood watch program. And uh, the people are allowed to have as many signs as they want, and we've had people that take 10, 12 signs and post it around their property, and they, they're thrilled to be able to have something like that for just for one price of a membership, not an initial cost on the signs or anything like that. And I found that to be a great tool for me. Where do you go for, right now, $65 a year and get somebody to rep represent you in? worst in D.C. and at the state level with all the farm issues we got to deal with. And another big deal is, is Buckeye Farm News. This gives a lot of good information that as soon as it comes to our door, we read it. 
Same with our Ohio. We read it from beginning to end as soon as it gets there. So there are two great pieces. I leave through it first and then the read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a list of potential members, a list of benefits, my own member experience. I'm ready to go. But there's got to be something more that I can do. But what? I know. I need to think outside the box. First of all, uh, no idea is silly. Try something new. If, uh, if it doesn't work, try something else. You're not out anything. We have together uh, sold a couple restaurants, maybe three or four in town, and they love displaying that Farm Bureau, the really pretty gold and black Farm Bureau thing in their restaurant. And a couple insurance agencies we've done that with, and title agencies that I've worked with, they display that. It's a nice piece of material, and it looks nice, and they, it's um, classy. Oh. These are all great ideas, but I don't know if I'll like it. I think I'll start tomorrow. Don't just procrastinate and say we're going to do it and never get the job done. Go get it done. You're kind of intimidated going up to somebody's house and asking, but uh, quite often they'll thank you for it. I suggest that uh, you make a social event out of it. Work, work with someone else. Take, take somebody that's more experienced or somebody that uh, you know, you haven't seen uh, seen a neighbor down the road who you know is a farm bureau member, and invite that person to go with you and, and work in pairs, and uh, you know, enjoy the conversation, the camaraderie that, that you develop, and, and uh, makes the makes the day or the evening go by faster, and it also adds credibility. But the biggest thing is get off your duff and go do it. The Ohio Farm Bureau has a rich history of growth. We offer numerous benefits and services, but without the hard work of our members. We would not be the organization we are today. Let's make this another successful year.